Hey, what up? This Quali Brilliant from the Heart of the 50 States podcast. Coming to you straight from Tackle Box. I'm sitting here with Two Gun Kiwi. What's, What's going on, Kiwi? How you doing, man? All right, all Glad right. you can stop through and chop it up with me I for a minute. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, how you been? You been good? I've been cool, man. I've been chilling. You know what I mean? Out the way, just trying to stay busy, man. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, For those who don't know, how long have you been rapping? Mm, it's going on 20 years now. 20 years yeah, now? Yeah. At, at what point in those 20 years did you start taking it serious? About four years ago. I first got out this time. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, 2020. 2020, that's when I took it serious. Like, all right, let me see if this is something that I can actually generate some revenue off of, you know what I'm saying? Feed my family off of, like, make some money. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the business side of it anyway. Like, I always took the music serious. I always had a passion for that. But as far as just doing it, you know what I mean, as a career choice, about four years ago. Yeah, your flow is crazy, bro. I I, I, I dig, I dig everything I that you, that you put out. Um, how would you describe your flow or your style of rapping? Um, <coughs> I can't really. So, like, man, I just kind of took a lot of shit. You know what I mean? From from music that I grew up on, music that I kind of fuck with, like flows that I like, and just kind of melted them together. You know what I mean? To create my own like my own shit, you know what I'm saying, just my own sound, uh, you know what I'm saying, so if you know, it's going to be some Messy Marvin there, you know what I'm saying, it's like yeah. some Jay-Z type shit in there, you know what I'm saying, uh, it's just, it's just some rich, it's just like kind of all the shit that I grew up on, you know what I'm saying, and then me just having my own personality, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying, trying to combine all of that, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, um, which part of the city did you grow up in? So I grew up in the 30s, the 40s. Um, I grew up out south too, you know what I'm saying? I ended up leaving. Moms put me out, go with your daddy type shit, trade boys in the hood yeah, type shit. Oh yeah. So I went out south for my pops, but I kind of already had made all my my bones and shit, my people, you know what I mean? So it was really just a matter of me just kind of going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Like having a different outlook on it, but having that same hood mentality, that same shit that I came up with, you know what I'm saying? Just in a different area for real. So, you know what I mean? A little bit everywhere. Yeah. Um, looking at Kansas City as a whole, Kansas and Missouri side, do you feel like it's our turn musically? I always look at Kansas City. So when, I, when people say that, I, I never was one of them. Oh, from Kansas City was just like, bro, I know. Like, if you say Kansas City, it's yeah. Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas yeah. City, Missouri, yeah. all of this shit. I'm it's all the shit. So I always felt like that about it. But like, um, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, like to be honest with you, bro, I don't know. Like, I, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I, I see a lot of shit, you know what I mean? Internet shit, you know what I mean? I can't really pinpoint when is whose time, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it's like, I didn't see a lot of this shit that's happening now, you know what I mean, coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I can't really say, what I can say is this, it's time for niggas in the city to start doing something that we ain't did before, like, so you, you got niggas in the city, it's like, niggas from over here, don't fuck with niggas from over here, niggas from Facts. over here rapping, niggas yeah. over here rapping on, you know what I mean? And it's just like, you just gotta start fucking with niggas, bro. Don't don't just fuck with niggas just to be fucking with niggas or just to be jeffing. But my thing is like, man, if that nigga hard, bro, and you hard, like, do a song. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Not? Like, do a yeah. song. Like, if y'all doing music, you see what I'm saying? Like, because that's what niggas haven't done. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So I feel like if niggas start, like, I feel like if niggas start doing that, then maybe you will see, you know what I'm saying, some change. I used to tell niggas all the time, you got, like, Cali niggas, right? And so you'll be, uh, you know what I'm saying, you got Jack, you got Mess, you got Mac Dre, you got, you know what I mean, and, and Pacino ain't even from Cali, from Ohio. You got, you know what I'm saying, all of these niggas, and I'm telling niggas, I'm like, bro, not only is these niggas not from the same hood, they, they ain't even from the them. same city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas is from different cities, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But they can collectively put their minds together, put their brands together, and come down here 
and do a show yeah. and we'll eat it up. Yeah. But you won't fuck with the nigga from, you know what I mean? Yeah. Three doors down from your grandma house type of shit to do a song, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. To, 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 to make some money. And you know what I mean? Niggas got personal issues. Niggas got, you know what I'm saying? Like real life shit going on. So I ain't trying to downplay that. But it's also some shit that, you know what I'm saying? That can be like done outside of that. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they killed your brother or some shit. Like, nah, fuck the nigga. Don't do no song with that nigga. You know what I mean? Like, Facts. I ain't doing that type yeah. of shit. But, like, nigga, if he just from over there, you know what I mean? You from over here. Like, and y'all really know each other, but y'all from over there and you from over here. It's like, man, do a fucking song. Get the music out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The the sound that's coming out of the, the, the Kansas City right now, how do you feel about it with the youngsters? Do you think they got on to something or you feel like it's something that'll pass? <laughs> So the thing is this, right? I feel like the young niggas is on to something in this regard. You know what I'm saying? Like the new sound that I'm hearing, um, it's just, it's hella diverse. You know what I'm saying? Like you got some shooter shit. You got some mellow shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you got faux nick, you got cock colors, you got sleazy, you got, you know what I'm saying? Like K-Rock, you got, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just different vibes yeah. around, you know what I mean? When I was coming up, like, you didn't have them type of vibes. Yeah. Let me not say you didn't have them, right? We didn't appreciate them, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas that did things that was out of the ordinary, we kind of shunned them to the side. Like, when yeah. I want to hear that shit, you know what I'm saying? And then now, you'll hear some shit from right here in Kansas City. I was just talking about this last time. You'll hear some shit from right here. You'll be like, man, where that nigga from Atlanta? I'm like, nah, that's such and such. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. damn, that nigga, you know what I mean? But... Niggas is coming into their own, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what I will say, what I encourage everybody to do, especially young niggas, man, get the fuck out of here. Like, if you already got a buzz, if you already got your name out here, if you kind of already got stamped as far as like, nah, he one of the ones from the city that, you know what I'm saying, that's hard, like leave. Don't leave. I ain't saying leave the city, like move out of town. To, I'm saying like, nigga, take that shit on the road. Yeah. Go down to Oklahoma and try that shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like whatever you did up here, go to Omaha and do that shit. Whatever you did here, go to Iowa and do that shit. Whatever you did here, go to fucking Arkansas. Go wherever. Go somewhere else and see if they appreciate you because shit. That's where you're going to start spreading out. Yeah, niggas do get caught up in that Kansas City fame. It's, it's a drug. That shit, man, that shit ain't real, bro. That shit ain't nah, real. Nah, it ain't. Nah, it ain't. It ain't. Uh, any projects, anything you working on right now? Musically? Man, musically, man. I, I, like I said, I've been... So I got some mixtape shit that I was going to put out. Gun Show. Uh, I was telling them first about this last year. But it's just, man, I be getting so caught up in so much other shit that it's just like, oh, like, I just... What I've been doing lately, bro, I've just been giving y'all what I got. You know yeah. What I'm when the music get done, I put it out. I don't need no fucking rollout. I don't need no release date, album yeah. cover. Yeah. None of that shit. Take a picture. You know what I mean? Or use one of the pictures I already got. You know what I'm saying? Put some, put some motherfucking glitter on that shit. And let it fly. You know, put that shit out. So that's where I'm at. Like, I want to do a project. I want to push a project, man. Um, but I want to do it, like, the right way. I was talking to some people about this shit. It's like... I think my next album, when I do push it, it's just going to be, like, it's going to be a rollout. It's going to be, you know what I'm saying, heavy marketing, heavy campaign, and yeah. heavy, you know what I'm saying, everything. Like, and then doing what I'm telling these niggas to do, like, shit. Get to get be going out of town, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I tell, I was telling, I swear to God, I was just telling the nigga this shit, man. Um, niggas be up here, don't get me wrong, like, the city is city, niggas fuck with the city, I'm fucking with the city. A lot of niggas be like, you still live here? I'm like, hey, I'm, shit, I'm here. Like, yeah. I don't really... <laughs> But my thing be like, man, the same way you niggas is going to Bridgers or Ale House, you know what I mean? Blowing a bag, popping bottles, fuck with all the bitches. Like, hit the road. Yeah. Go to facts. Oklahoma. Go to Tulsa and do that shit. Facts. Go to Tulsa, bro. Four or five, six of you and your niggas, y'all go to Tulsa, nigga. Y'all pop bottles. Y'all stand on the couches. Y'all have a ball down that motherfucker, and y'all leave. And I swear to God, when y'all leave, everybody in that motherfucking club gonna be like, who the fuck is who my name? Like, like, and then you ain't, they don't even, you ain't never got to see them again. You come back three months later, they're like, that was the niggas that was popping yeah. bottles there. And then it's like, y'all keep doing it, and they gonna be like, man, what, what y'all do? We rap, we this, we that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I advise niggas, man, to go get some money, you know what I mean? Like, go get some money somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like shit. If I drop a project here, you know what I'm saying, you might do 10, 15 grand. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's good money, you know what I'm saying, for, for one project on a local scale. But if I had five, six, 
cities on lock like yeah, that. For sure. And I'm doing a hundred thousand every time I drop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now it ain't nothing to talk about. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. That's one thing that I found about the young artists, man. They don't travel. Uh, we didn't travel either. Like that's why niggas is that's why nobody you know what I mean? That's why <laughs> like we didn't do it either. But now nigga, I'm getting older, so now I'm seeing the shit. So it's like I you know what I mean, sometimes I'm probably like, I'm on my last leg with this shit. I need to go ahead and just do whatever yeah. the fuck I gotta do. But I swear to God, if I you know what I mean, if I had the resources, it ain't even about the money, you know what I'm saying? Like the money's around, like, you know what I'm saying, they can get some money, that ain't no issue. The resources, if I had the resources, I'd do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'd I go Yo Gotti on these niggas and oh, be yeah. like, come on, all right, y'all come with me. Like, we out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and nigga, we'll just go do this shit ourselves, but you got to have, you know what I'm saying, resources. I'm still on probation, too, so, you know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit be, that shit cost a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so, so when Two Gun collaborates, who is he collaborating with? Or is there any collaborations you want that you haven't got yet in the city or abroad? In the city, so like, like not none in the city. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I mean, for Nick with K Rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we should have been this shit, but you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, they like I I had a lab out there. They was coming out there knocking shit out. This back when Mo was a lot. They was coming out there doing shit, and I was just on the go and never really stopped and did no shit. But like, you know what I'm saying? That shit that is just like it's gonna happen. I ain't really tripping off that shit. Um. Like people in the city's like not for real. I I it's certain people. I'm like this, right? I hear a song, I hear a beat, I write, do my verse, and then it's like if I hear something, I'm like, damn, this rich will go hard on this, or yeah. tech go hard on it. I mean, yeah. or wax will go hard on it. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll make the call. But other than that, like I don't really be like, oh, I gotta do a song with him. Like I just yeah. kind of let the let that feeling come. But outside of the city, it's like. I had some shit I was supposed to be doing um, with Leaf War up in Philly. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really get no, no, no. Uh, I ain't really get no, no traction with it. He ended up getting locked up. But I had some people. You know what I'm saying? Online. You know what I'm saying? Post a paper the verse. You know what I'm saying? Um, some shit with Mozzie that you know what I mean should have been put together. But that'd be like a dope. Said, that'd be it's a dope. Just, uh, it's just a matter. Of, you know what I'm saying? Like resources, availability, shit like that. You gotta catch up with niggas like that. Some shit, uh, I got a partner out of Jersey, um, Al be Al, trying to get some shit done with him. It's just, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna say politics, it really ain't no politics, it's just a lot of red tape. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get up to a nigga sitting, like I told you, I'm on probation. So, yeah. with me, it's like, man, I can go when I can go, but I can't just up and leave. If I wasn't on papers, nigga, I'd be in Philly, New Jersey, I'd be in that motherfucker every month, because, like, that's really where. I made a lot of my bones at in the joint with niggas out there, so I can get up there and move around. Um, we did a show down in Wichita with Mozzie, and he told me straight up, like, bro, I got you. Like, nigga, just tap in, you know what I'm saying? But it's all a budget, you know what I mean? You think, nigga, if I get the features I want for that, for the project I want to do, you know what I'm saying? You looking at 40, 50 grand just in Easy. features, you know what I'm saying? Like, Easy. Yeah, shit, you got to have some, you know what I mean? You got to have a rollout. You got to have a campaign. You got to have a marketing strategy for all of that type of shit to get your bread back. Other than sure. that, nigga, you might as well just... Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I, I've been in this music shit for about 15 years, just on the business part of it. And oh my God, the management part of it, bro, it's, it's stressful. So I understand everything you're talking about, man. But, oh, I don't, uh, yeah. I, if I could, I would stay away from it. Yeah, I'll be honest yeah. with you, find another source of income because this rap shit is no joke. I mean, you ain't like I tell niggas all the time, bro. Like, if you sitting around waiting on a nigga to cut you a check for a million dollars, good luck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, but that shit, like, making it to the league. Like, niggas make it to the league, and then niggas be playing. You know what I mean? Niggas be coaching AAU. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At 35 years old, like, what it could have been type shit. You got to make your own way, bro. So, like, that's why, like, I told you shit, man. If I could do 10 grand, 15 grand on, a, on, a, on an album, you know what I'm saying, with... Shit, what? Twenty hours worth of studio time. You know what I'm saying? Twenty five hundred dollars worth of beats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And no features. You know what I'm saying? Like Just go shit. Edit, huh? Yeah, you know what I mean? You profited 10, 12 grand off of off of one album and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's just in the city, you know what I'm saying? You you start to hit these other spots and you force feed their ass. Like, man, look, nigga, we here. I tell niggas all the time, bro. I got I'm trying to get 
out, I'm trying to get out of town and find two gun keys. Like, nigga, I'm trying to get to your city and who the who the who who the nigga up here? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, bring you here. Right. Like, who the nigga here? Bring you here. And then that way, I get that little pull on me, and it's like shit. You know what I'm saying, nigga, you make, like I said, you do ninety, a hundred thousand dollars off of one album if you put your, you know what I mean, you put your foot in that shit, bro, and really press, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I'm going to backtrack a little bit about the the different sounds of Kansas City. You know, I grew up in the 50s, the hood part of it, so I had no clue of half the shit that was going on in this city up until I started this podcast about three months ago, and I'd be hitting little... Oh man, there's so much talent here. Oh, man, man you yeah. talking about different waves and they got their own cliques, just how we got our own cliques. So, you know, the gangster rappers and you got the 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 metal lovers and the the, the speech people or the poet people, the oh, artists. Yeah. I've been to all those scenes, man, I, and for years I was dumb. I, I say dumb to it because I never even thought to look out for it or look for it. But now, man, I'm I get on the internet or Instagram or something, and I'm damn near blown away of all the stuff and outlets or people here to do certain things. But it's it's like nothing's happening. I don't like. I can't. I'm the same way, right? Um, Suli, this nigga Suli told me this shit, bro, and he like it's a whole another side to this city, and if you don't move around, yeah, and, 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 and like. Fuck with different people, you would never see it, bro. Yeah, so sure I didn't been to open mics down at the parlor. You know what I'm saying? I didn't been to, I didn't been to open band set. I didn't been around. I'm talking, bro, where it's fucking seventy thousand dollars worth of, you know what I mean, equipment in this yeah. motherfucker, and these niggas are down here jamming, and you like, what the fuck, what like, you know what I mean, yeah. like, and you just thinking, like, I know how much all of this shit costs, so I know you niggas are serious about yeah. this shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, well, where the fuck y'all been? Like, back then, like, nigga, I used to. You got, I need somebody to sing a hook. You got to call your baby mama cousin type yeah. shit. Like, oh, she be singing at church. Now it's like, man, this shit is some shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's some boy. Yeah, it's you like, damn. Board, so bro. you pulling that shit. But like I tell niggas all the time with this shit. And Suli, me and Suli, we, we, we debate about this shit a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I'm of the mindset, right, that for my style of music, you know what I'm saying, for the style of music for Kansas City niggas, that we used to, like, that you think of when you hear it. You got to think, right? You got, like, a, you got, like, a 50, maybe 100-mile radius, right? Yeah. Before your shit fall on deaf ears. Yeah, facts. So I'm saying, like, facts. it's like, it's like, nigga, it's like when you play Pass It Down in kindergarten and you whisper in the motherfucker ear and they whisper all the way down the line, it's like, you can only, man, you can be in... Yeah, you can be on fucking Independence Avenue and be rapping and niggas on 12th Street gonna be like, he hard. And then niggas in the 20s is gonna be like, he hard. And then niggas in the 30s and niggas in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 100s, then you gonna get out to Belden and they gonna be like, who is Who's that? that? I ain't yeah. never heard of him before. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Then you gonna get to Harrisonville and they gonna like, turn that shit off in my car. And then you gonna just fall on fucking 40 or 50 miles of just farmland. You know what I mean? Where yeah. that shit had never made, you know what I'm saying? And so it's different from a east coast right yeah because boom you in new york man you got five boroughs and then you dropping down to jersey and then by the time like from the north jersey it's going to trickle down to south jersey and by the time we get to south jersey it's trickling into philly and it's just like by you know what i mean and even like detroit niggas because niggas say all the time like oh well we kind of sound like detroit niggas and detroit niggas popped we should have popped it's like you gotta understand something like detroit is fucking 80% niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if one nigga popping in Detroit, Everybody. the whole population yeah. in Detroit is listening to it. Yeah. And by the time Detroit catch on, now Flint niggas is listening yeah. to it. And by the time Flint niggas catch on, they trickling over in Ohio, Cincinnati, Cleveland. Like, you got, we don't got that. The closest thing we got to us is St. Louis. And so it's like. They don't really. There's not an artist in St. Louis that I know about. It's just Except a different well, sexy red if you want to call nah, it. Nah, it's just a different for sure. It's just a different um it's just a different taste. Like St. Louis is Atlanta. Kansas yeah. City is Cali. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like so yeah. it's like St. Louis nigga could be popping in St. Louis and come down here and we wouldn't fuck with it. Yeah. Kansas City nigga could be popping in the city and go up to St. Louis and they wouldn't be fucking with it. You don't got that over there. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't got that next 
You know what I'm saying? That next city over that's going to pass your shit down. To you the next city. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And it's like, and that's why niggas can't really get traction like that. And then, like, you got, I mean, shit, you got Sleazy. And that nigga pop, you know what I'm saying? But niggas got a campaign behind them. Niggas got a movement. Niggas yeah. just pushing. Niggas just strategically placing this shit. You know what I mean? Like, and a lot of niggas don't want to do that. A lot of niggas don't want to do that. A lot of niggas feel like, oh, that's, you know what I'm saying, boosy or that's this or whatever the case may be. It's like, I'm one of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker, like, you ain't on TikTok. Like, fuck, no, I ain't on TikTok. But yeah. at the end of the day, it's like, nigga, you need to be on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? He just on. I just feel like, like I said, maybe ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if nobody gonna pop or not, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like we don't, we don't share e each other's stuff enough either here. You know what I'm saying? Anything, I don't even have to read your caption. Or nothing. If if I fuck with you or I follow you or something, bro, I ain't got to read your caption, hear nothing. You automatically get a like from me. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just who I am. I, I'm supporting just off top. See, I I learned my lesson, right? And so, because um, I ain't a lot, right? Aside from my music shit, bro, I don't really even play the internet like that. And I'm just kind of old school, I think, like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Me, me and a close, close friend of mine, you know what I mean? We we went our separate ways because of some internet shit. You know what I mean? And niggas just basically like, nigga, you don't and I'm like, bro, you talking about the internet? I'm like, nigga, I'm here every day in real life. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you call your phone every day. I see you every day. Like, nigga, we together all the time. You call me if ever you need me type shit. But it's like you don't share my posts and you don't like my posts and you don't comment. It's like I feel like that shit going that shit gonna be the death of you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of shit. A lot of friendships it has been. It's it not has. real, bro. It's like not. to me it's not real. You know what I'm saying? My thing is this, like, and then you do shit. I promise, bro, a nigga tagged me it's about like a month ago, right? And my they tell me, Oh, you gotta show love to the supporters. So a nigga tagged me in a song, he played my song, he doing some shit. I don't I'm so not locked in with this shit that I don't even pay attention to what's going on. I just go to my inbox, such and such mentions you in a story, you know what I'm saying? I click on it, add to story, and go to the next one, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not even knowing this nigga doing some lightweight credit card fried shit on the thing. <laughs> so now everybody hit my line like, yo, is that shit legit? I'm yeah. like, what the fuck is y'all talking about? And it's like, I'm almost vouching for some shit. I don't even know what the fuck this is. I don't even know who the nigga is. I don't know what the fuck he doing. I just posted the nigga on my story because he tagged me in this shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, man, I can't vouch for that shit. I can't stand behind that shit now i gotta go in there and delete it you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying then niggas do a lot of bullshit you just i just i'll be if i see it and i like it then i like it if i if it don't move me then i don't, yeah, yeah, I don't move you know what i kind of got that feeling when i hit your inbox that you kind of was like you know what i'm saying who the fuck is this yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, i got that just, feeling yeah. like Dude, I'm like, you got you to gotta call around and make sure right, I am you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I check you out and I fuck with Greg. So it's yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? I know, like, motherfucker, like, that's I, I, so what I just tell you. Like, where is it? I'm like, say, Greg, we cool. Like, don't worry about it. Because I know, you know what I'm saying? We done had this conversation a few times. Like, yeah. bro, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody on the up and up. So, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Ain't none of that. Ain't none of that with me, bro. I, right, I, bro. I love to see niggas live and have fun. Um. I know you said you're on probation right now, so that probably means you can't travel. But if you could travel right now, where would two guns go? Philadelphia. Philly? Yeah. No shit. You love Philly. I've never yeah. been. I've never I been just, to Philly. I, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I did um I did almost four years in Pennsylvania when I was locked up. So I met a lot of good niggas in Philly. And Philly is like uh <laughs> the niggas that I got up there. Cause it's right there by Jersey too, yeah. so I met a lot of good niggas in Jersey. So it's kind of like niggas just gonna roll the red carpet out for me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I can really kind of get up there and just, just you know, what move mean? around. They yeah. fuck with two guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. That gotta be a good feeling, bro, to know that you can go all the way to the East Coast and get yeah, love, bro. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. gotta be a good feeling. I've never actually even been to the East Coast at all. I think the closest that I've been was like. Maybe North Carolina, they, they, but they they consider that kind of the South, but yeah, I consider yeah, it the yeah. East Coast. East North Coast, Carolina, so I fuck with North Carolina. You know yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. I gotta definitely do a little bit more traveling as I get older because I yeah. was young and stuck <clears throat> around this month too. Furthest place we ever went was Louisiana, maybe California, Texas. Let's see, better than me, I ain't never been nowhere. You know what I'm saying? We went to uh, went to Omaha, then we went to uh, Houston, I think, or Galveston. Uh, 
But shit, other than that, everywhere I've been, been on a fucking federal airplane. Yeah. I, been, uh, I took my son, excuse me, I took my son to um, New York uh, right before school started. So, like, August, we went up to New York and shit, uh, Times Square. That shit was cool. It was like, I played chess, so my thing is like, I could just sit in that motherfucker and play chess all day. Yeah. I was, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't give a fuck. But uh, for him, it was a little fast pace. He was like, man, I don't know about this shit. Yeah. This shit moving too fast. <laughs> Yeah, my wife uh, wants to go there for New Year's, and I'm like, do we go any other time? But yeah, New yeah. Year's, uh, he's just kind of pushing it. But you know, you gotta you gotta give a little, you know, when you want something as well. Kids, how many kids you got? Man, I got three. Man, I got a eleven week old man. Uh, so I got a newborn. I'll be with him every day for real. Like, I really, you know what I'm saying? I really be on some Mr. Mom shit. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't that's wrong why I had him all day to day waiting on his mom to get back and start to come up here. But, um, I got 11 week old. I got a 13, 11 week old boy, Cody. 13 year old girl, Key Maya. And a 16 year old boy, a little Key. Yeah. Uh, Driving nigga crazy. Yeah, you know I, mean? I already know. Yeah. I got a twenty-one year old. Ah, so yeah, 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 I already know. See, I can't wait because twenty-one is like I'm gonna fucking figure it out. You know what I mean? Like yeah, is, you can borrow some money at twenty-one. Yeah, at sixteen, I just gotta give you the fucking money. Why yeah, you fuck up? I took him to South Beach uh, in November for his birthday and said, "The world is yours, and uh, whatever you want to do, you can do it. Just know." After this, uh, yeah, <laughs> but I'm, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, but, but we closing the covers. After yeah, this, this yeah. is I'll pay for this. The last trip, that's 100 percent getting paid for. You know what I'm saying? But you always got to be a father. Uh, as far as the city, are you into anything else besides music, or got your hands in anything else besides music? Yeah, I've been fucking with it. So I've been fucking with these trucks. I've been fucking with these trucks for like the last two and a half years. Um, semi trucks, box trucks, and shit, and then uh, fucking with cars. I really been fucking with the cars since I got out, but I just recently got my dealer's license and shit, so I've been kind of fucking with that. Just trying to get, you know what I mean? Just trying to get a foundation built, you know what I mean? Where I, you know what I'm saying, shit. Where and then I'm like a fast money type nigga anyway, so you know what I'm saying. Trying to stay legit as best I can, man, and uh, just still be able to, you know what I mean, see that same turnaround, you know yeah. what I mean, like, still be able to see lump sums of money and not be having to bust my ass, but to be honest with you, I'll be busting my ass, <laughs> I'll be busting my ass, bro, I'll be having to get up at 7, 30, 8 o'clock in the morning, you know what I'm saying, talking to brokers, emailing, scanning shit in, you know what I mean, back and forth to the auction, walking these lots, just doing shit, man, but I think in hindsight, it's kind of like, I, I mean, I ain't did shit for a long time, so yeah. this shit is really like what I'm supposed to be doing, and it's, you know what I mean, it's, it's worth it. You know yeah, saying? when people see entrepreneur, they automatically think you rich, not yeah, knowing, like, bro, that's uh, one of the hardest things ever. I was just having a conversation with my mom about that earlier, right, niggas, bro, niggas is fucked up, right, so niggas... Niggas go get forty, fifty thousand dollars and start doing shit that half a millionaires do, and buying shit that half millionaires buy, Thanks. millionaires buy. And you like it's like nigga, you don't got no business in Gucci. You got a hundred thousand yeah. dollars to your name, like nigga, you don't got no business spending three thousand dollars on no motherfucking coat. You know what I mean? That should be like, the last thing. Like, nigga, you, think you know what I'm saying? Like that's not that's not how it works. But it's just like niggas is like they living in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm a victim of it too. So it's like I understand, but. I always try to chalk it up to like me, you know what I'm saying, with the image, the rap shit, you know what I'm saying, it's like kind of like, you know what I'm saying, you gotta, how you present yourself is everything, yeah. so you kind of gotta have that, but then on the back burner of it, it's like, the thing about being an entrepreneur, entrepreneur is this, but it's like, all the money come in, but then you responsible for everything too, so then, yeah, I make all the money, but I gotta pay all the bills, like I gotta pay all the people, right. I gotta, you know what I mean, I, I gotta get everything fixed, all that shit come out of pocket, you know what I mean, like, Niggas don't deal with that shit. When you at work, nigga, and the system go down, they call y'all, right, y'all go home. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. nigga, the boss got to go pay for that shit. Yeah. The tech team come in and fix that shit. Nigga, that's going to come. Whoever owns that company, nigga, he got to pay out his pocket. It's like, and he ain't making no money. So, like, motherfuckers don't see, you know what I'm saying? They don't see it all. They just see what they want to see. Yeah, that's what I be trying to get everybody to understand about entrepreneurship, bro. It is not for the weak. It is not for the weak. But 
at the end of the day, I, I hope it end up paying off. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm reaching for generational wealth. You know what I'm saying? Before I die, hopefully my son won't have to go work for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? That's the ultimate goal. Uh, I know you, you, you're you not big on fashion. Or you, I know you put it on when you want to put it on. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Which we all can. But how do you feel about the kids that... 12 and 13 and want $1,200 pants, $2,000 shirts to wear to high school, middle school. Man, I ain't seen it. Like, I can't, to be honest with you, I ain't seen it. Like, my son, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Like, my son, I gave him some purple jeans, you know what I mean? Some babe shirts. I usually, like, all my, like, Supreme, babe be long, all that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? I might wear that shit once, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I'm just going to give it to him. Right. I had a show or whatever. We did a video shoot, and I, you know what I'm saying? I, I give it to him. Um, he getting older now, so he kind of want that shit on his own. But shit, my thing be like, I told my daughter this, right? Um, she wanted a Gucci purse or some shit. And, uh, it was just a little mini bag. I think it was like 1700 or some shit. And I was just told her, like, man, if I gave you $1,700 right now, you wouldn't even buy the motherfucker. I could give you $1,700 right now and the last thing to be on your mind would be that Gucci purse, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, and then I, all kind of shit I go buy you a $70 Gucci purse and you wouldn't even know the difference, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, so you wouldn't even know if it was fake or if it was real or nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, man, that shit be, motherfucker get a job, motherfucker get some money, give him the money. I promise, bro, if you ever thinking like that, if your son wants some twelve hundred dollars shoes, a five hundred dollars shirt. Get that nigga five hundred dollars. So go get yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah. Go get it. I guarantee you, you don't want that motherfucker oh, that no. bad. You know oh, what I'm no. saying? Like, oh, he no. wants you to pay for it. That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I know you say Philly, but as far as like beaches, is it Cali? Oh. Cali. <laughs> Cali, no uh, Florida. Hell nah. I mean, I've been so I've been. I only been. To, I've been to Cali a few times. I've been to Miami once. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it rained on me. I want to go down. I want to go back down there and get the you know what I mean vibe and shit. You know what I mean? It rained on me, so I didn't really get to experience it. But aside from, I would like like when you say just go somewhere in Philly because it's like that's why I haven't been yet and I want to get to. But like. If for me, it's L.A. over everything. Like, if I, you know what I mean? If I'm packing up, yeah. moving right now, I'm going to L.A., you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I ain't been out there a few times. And I done been to L.A. three times. I done been to Atlanta three times. Um, It's just a totally different vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, for me anyway, because, because of the shit we was just talking about, right? So you get to Atlanta, and it's like, I mean, I don't want to say it's a competition. It ain't a competition. But you get to Atlanta and you see this shit and niggas jumping out. You know what I mean? Niggas got watches, chains. Oh, it feel like a competition. Gucci, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, shit. You see it and you're like, damn. You know what I mean? Like, that's this what's going on. And niggas getting money. So you can't, you know what I mean? I ain't knocking on But then I, I done been in L.A., bro. And it's like fucking millionaires, bro. It's a fucking flip-flops and yeah, t-shirts. Yeah, they know how to wear their money. And they just like, they walking around on their fucking phone, yeah. you know what I mean? They don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah. They like, they got real millions yeah. of dollars for real. Like, this shit ain't about nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck about nothing. Like, and I'm more of that. I want to be like, I just seen some shit on the Instagram the other day. It was like, I want you, you know what I'm saying? It's something about being a rich nobody. Like, that's the type of nigga I Same am. Same you know here. Like, I want to be a rich-ass Same nobody. Same here, like, bro. I want to just... Hide my face on you ain't got. I don't want to say shit on you know what I mean. I want to have fifty million dollars and just be walking around this motherfucker yeah. like, mm. just like I am now. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Don't yeah. treat me no yeah. different. Yeah. I'm the exact same way, bro. If I if I hit it big, you probably wouldn't even know it. No that, way. I swear to God, that's you know what I'm saying? Am, bro. Like, you you will swear that I was the same person. Plus, same you never know what nobody got in real life. For real, anyway, you 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 a girl that. A woman, if you pocket watching or pocket counting anyway, yeah, you niggas know what, I'm know what I'm saying. But like I said, niggas use that as a competition. But I didn't see niggas, bro, in Atlanta. I tell niggas up here, I'm like the difference between Atlanta and up here is this, and it's something for everybody in Atlanta, right? Because I know niggas is down there doing them. This ain't that. But it is, is right up here. You're not gonna wear no fake Gucci. Yeah, you know what I mean, no fake Louis, no fake none of that shit, yeah. right? And then if you see it, you'll see a nigga on a bus stop with a Gucci, Gucci shirt yeah. on, and you're like, all right, I know that's a fake yeah. Gucci shirt because the nigga standing on the bus stop, his shoes is beat up and shit. 
The difference is in Atlanta, bro, a nigga have on fake Gucci from head to toe with $20,000 in his, his pocket, pocket and a fucking Range Rover. Yeah. And it's like, with a watch <laughs> on, you know what I mean? And it's like, you won't, you'll be like, all right, he you, on you, that. Could, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you can't beat, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, all right, he really, you know what I mean? It's like, it's hard to really find that. It's you know weird. I mean? The same yeah. thing in Houston. The same thing in Houston. Yeah, I ain't never been to Houston, you know what Houston, they had that shit on, but you can go, you I tell niggas about even the bitches, bro. I tell them, I said, bro, you like all oh, they bitches are so bad. And I'm like, bro, these bitches look like the same ugly bitches that's up here, except these ugly bitches is driving around the fucking Ford Focus, smoking cigarettes and black and mouths. And them ugly bitches is jumping out of fucking, you know what I mean? S550, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, with Gucci, is, yeah, yeah. With, a, with, 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 with ass shots and shit. That's that. That's that's literally the difference. That's the only yeah, difference. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. they minds is the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ain't really thinking too, too different than our chicks, which is sad. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be like the girls in Atlanta, uh, I guess. But that ain't what we want as men. Nah, Not no nah, real nah, men. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I like an average, you know. Nah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we just talking about fuck. If I want to fuck for the rest of my life, then yeah. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. just going to give me a bitch with a fat ass and a nice body. You know look what I mean? Like, that's, yeah. But, like, nah, I ain't going to. We need companions in this motherfucker. <laughs> Somebody to do like with. Well, man, I ain't going to hold you too much longer, man. It's been good talking to you. Uh, hopefully we can catch back up in another three months. Uh, sure. See where you at with your businesses and your music. Give them your uh, social media outlets. Man, Two Gun TV everywhere. Uh, I don't even be on Snap, but I'm on there though. But I don't be on that motherfucker. But Two Gun TV on Instagram. Uh, number T Two G went in. Uh, two Gun TV on Facebook. Uh, the word T T W O. Uh, and shit, I'm on TikTok too, but I don't really be on there though. Um, yeah, we older. Man. That's to be expected though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But thank you for coming, man. I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate the interview, man. Love. love. That's real love from you, man. Straight to you from Tackle Box, man. One love. We out. Peace.